right guys, went well, back today with another high value and budget red dot and this particular one is from CV Life. It fits the RMR footprint and the model number of this is the MR052. It comes with a lot of nice things in the box and a really good feature set, especially for the price. They generally sell for $100. Throughout the video, I'm going to talk about ways to save money to get this closer to $80. And a lot of that info will be in the description below if you want to check it out. Now, what comes in the box itself is the optic already mounted to the pick mount adapter. You can remove that and then mount it to the RMR footprint. It goes right on top of this Palmetto State Armory dagger or any other RMR footprint. And it also comes with a Glock MOS plate in the bag right there. Before we get too far into the review, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the ammo to help make this video. Without their support, it'd be really difficult to keep making videos. These guys just did a price drop on 9mm and they have the code 704 Tactical for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200. Definitely check them out. While I was mounting it up to the PSA dagger, they do give you a ton of screws in the box, but they don't give you any 632 screws that work with the dagger, so you'll have to utilize those. But a lot of times you can purchase screw packs from a wide variety of locations, including Amazon, that have a ton ready to go for optics. So I wish they would have included 632 screws because the PSA dagger is probably one of the most popular high value and budget optic handguns out there right now. So maybe something then for the consider in the future to include those screws in the box but that's really not that big of a deal one of the next things i want to discuss is the fact that this does have the auto wand or shake awake or the auto motion activated technology so that is a key feature now that i really don't like optics without that in fact i'm refusing to review most of those optics because i feel like it's a waste of your time and a waste of my time if you ever truly needed an optic you're not going to be fumbled with buttons in a personal defense situation so having it automatically turn on is definitely great Great. This one also features a top load battery design, which I really like as well. Also, I'm kind of staying away from a lot of the optics unless they're very specialized with bottom load battery designs because now you never have to take the optic off to swap out the battery. So either like the side load compartments or the top load. This one is a push button control located on both sides and this thing gets insanely bright down at the range. That is one of the third features and actually probably one of the number one features that it will kill an optic. If it doesn't get bright enough for a bright sunny day, then I am not interested in it. And this one does an amazing job. Also, the refresh rate is spectacular, meaning you get a solid dot, no strobe effect at every single uh, light level. So that is really nice as well. So it's really checking a lot of boxes. It's got a fairly large window and it barely has just a touch of blue hue. Again, good, solid features. It also has a protected hood over the front of the optic, but it's not overly large, still making it very subtle. Again, really nice features. Another thing I want to note is that the tool adjustments located on the side, these actually have audible and tactile clicks built in, and I'd love to see optics trending towards that rather than just like a mushy feel to them. Those audible and tactile clicks are really nice, and this one held zero 100% down at the range with no issues whatsoever. This one has up to a 50,000 hour battery life. Again, solid feature set on this guy with a two MOA dot. Good solid dot, very crisp, very clear, very easy to pick up. And this is also IPX7 waterproof rating. So it checks everything that you would want feature-wise in, in an optic. And it's been holding up great at the range. Again, maybe one of the downfalls that I want to mention is the fact that this one does sit a little bit pronounced, really blocking your iron sights to make them almost unusable. You can barely pick up the top if you hold it just right, but it, honestly, if the optic goes down, you're just kind of point shooting at that because even with raised sights, you still can't clear the optic. So there's always going to be gives and takes with a lot of these high value and budget optics. Some might be not quite as bright or um, not quite clear glass or you know one feature or another, but for about $80 after the discount, that is a great deal. Now, they are running a 20% discount right now so it is eighty dollars but if that goes away i also have a twenty percent off coupon in the description below to save you twenty percent off making this eighty dollars so you will be getting this optic for eighty dollars if you decide to purchase it and all of that info and linking will be in the description below 
In summary, this is a solid optic for the money. It comes with a lot of nice feature sets and it works great down at the range. Probably two pet peeves of mine would be the 632 screws I wish every optic would include because simply of the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. And I do like them to sit just a touch lower, but this is a great optic for the money and I can definitely recommend it. If you were looking for an RMR optic under $100, definitely check this one out. Solid feature set for the money. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.